Good day, mates. Poké Dragon here, and welcome to Marvel Avengers Alliance 2. I did play the first Marvel Avengers Alliance, thanks to Realm Wars the second. Thank you, Realm Wars. I wish I could play it again, though, although Playdom is being a pain in the ass right now, considering the fact that their game on Facebook no longer works for Firefox or Google for some damn reason. Hey, go away, Skype. I don't need you right now. Yeah, when it comes to the first Marvel Avengers Alliance on Skype, not on Skype, that, Facebook, when it comes to Marvel Avengers Alliance on Facebook, like, you get to the flight deck, there's no planes there, none of the options can be, well, clickable, and when you click the mission, you're basically stuck there, and no other... And no other mission is, well, unlocked. Even mission 0 to 1 is unlocked. So for the time being, I'm actually just going to, well, tell you my quick thoughts on Marvel Avengers Alliance 2. Marvel Avengers Alliance 2 is a little bit different from the first game. For starters, you don't really have command points anymore. You still have your shield points, your silver, and your energy from the first game. You still have your gold as well. Although recruiting new heroes can be kind of a slow and random process. Let me tell you why. Let's go to the story very quick. You see, you get these things known as power cells. You get some that are basically reward every couple of hours. Every couple of hours, maybe up to a full, maybe up to like a day or so. Or you could basically just spend gold to spend gold to either get these power cells and these power cells can be either different classes like superior power cells where you can get heroes and abilities but i fear heroes and abilities you get yourself like ice iso crystals silver shield points and more crystals and you get I have so energy capsules that we can level up your heroes much faster. Get more powers. Get more ISO 8 crystals. Unstable ISO 8 capsules. And oh, you can also get yourself like a PvP capsule. That way you can instantly get a hero. Although I'm practically, well, nowhere getting close to that as of yet. However, though, the most biggest pain in the ass as of right now. Excuse my vulgar excuse my language, the biggest pain in the ass as of right now is the superior power cell, getting heroes and abilities. However, there's one problem with this. Random number generated. That is a humongous pain. When I want to get like a, when I want to get like a fantastic hero like say Iron Man or let's say Iron Patriot and I want to get those really, really badly problem is it's random luck based and that's a very big downside when it comes to Marvel Avengers Alliance 2. I wish it could have been much easier that way you could actually spend your silver and actually to get the heroes automatically but if you get yourself like a clone ability it goes straight to your shield points so you can, you can get straight to your shield points so you can either get new abilities or new heroes depending on random luck but I hate random luck. It's just, yeah. But the down, but the bump side to it, if you have enough shield points, you could just buy the abilities instantly. So, you want twenty gun guns? You want twenty gun guns for Iron Patriot? You have to save up one thousand four hundred shield points for that sucker, or just get it out of random. So, yeah, there's that. And there's not much of heroes this time around. Although they might practically add more as the game futurely updates. As for right now, I own Classic Iron Fist, Classic Hawkeye, Classic Vision, Classic She-Hulk, Classic Spider-Woman, Age of Ultron Vision, and that's basically all I got. The characters you can recruit Classic Black Widow, Classic Captain America, Age of Ultron, Hawkeye, Hulk, Iron Man, Four, Ant-Man, Age of Ultron, Captain America, 
Captain Marvel, Daredevil, I am Groot, yes, he's in the game, Age of Ultron, Iron Man, Amazing Spider-Man, Star-Lord, hey look, Realm Wars, Iron Patriot, if you think he's more, if you think he's broken in the first game, have a look at this. If it loads. If you think Iron Patriot is broken before, wait till you see this. Alright. He still has his 21 guns! And what's make and what makes it worse? It could be upgraded this time around to deal at least 880 damage. Well, close to it. Although downside, it consumes all your ammo, though. But God, <laughs> if you think Iron Patriot's broken before, oh good lord. <laughs> Although it's random luck based. So. Yeah. As for the first Marvel Avengers Alliance, you always have your shield agent to fight right beside two heroes. Sad to say, that's not gonna happen in this game. Your agent is, well, practically sitting in his high chair in the headquarters. He doesn't take any combat at all. That means no equipment, no... No weapons, no upgrades, no abilities and stuff like that for your agent. Yep, all of that's gone. Non-existent in this game. So, other than Iron Patriot, we also have Angela, a Angelia, Black, Classic Angelia, Classic ba Black Panther, Age of Ultron, Black Widow, Drax, Electro, Gomorrah, Hawk, Hank Prim, Him Dal, I'm sorry I can't pronounce that correctly, Age of Ultron Hulk, Luke Cage, and strangely enough you can recruit Mordok in this game. Not sure if you could do that in the first, correct me if I'm wrong. Classic Moon Knight, Nebula, Nova, Rocket Raccoon, Miles Morales Spider-Man, looks sick as hell. Age of Ultron 4 and Wasp. That's all you'll probably get as of right now. Although they might put in more future characters in the game. And I'm well looking forward to that. So, as of right... So, I'm almost close to level 10 as you can basically see. Um... So... How about we just do some PvP matches? Yeah. I already had my team all set up. I've already ranked 19. I was just swamping the majority of the people that were back there with, with Iron Fist. God, I love Iron Fist in this game. Oh, yeah. There's something I forgot to say as well. Remember how in the last Marvel Avengers Alliance, how when you level up, you have to train for it? Oh, God, is it a slow pace in this game. Guess how... Uh, basically, when you reach to level 10, you basically hit a level limit. And or to exceed to level 10, you have to make you have to make sure your hero goes through research so right now i've got classic spider woman i know i should be doing pvp right now but i completely forgot about this it is that when you basically hit a maximum of let's say level nine and you want to go to level 10 you have to do research and you have to waste time searching for items so right now, my classic Spider Woman is only at level nine. I need these kinds of requirements, which is these two discs and plutonium ore, which I only got five of them. I only got ten. And once you do, you have to pay silver coins on to upgrade it. Yeah, it was very simple in the last game, but by 
God, it slowed down. <sighs> However, I think I talked long enough. I think it's about time we should do, like, free PvP matches. So that way we, the combat is still regularly the same as from the last game. My team is basically Hawkeye. Hawkeye, Spider-Woman, Iron Fist. So, let's see who we're up against. Commander Regulus. And you have Wasp, Iron Man, and Hulk, and She-Hulk. Ooh. Well, now this goes down. I'm getting a little bit too loud there. Okay, classic Wasp. Alright. Now let's see. Iron Man goes second. She Hulk goes third. Uh, let's see. Who's vulnerable? You're resistant to it, so let's kick Wasp in the face. Ooh. Raise. Ow! That's not good. Ooh. First things first, I want to give all of my party members recovery. Recovery pheromones, that way we can recover our HP this turn. And Iron Man, I do not like you hitting my thing hard, so you get delayed. And, ooh, spirit is high. Um, kick Wasp again. Build up more of that spirit. Ow. Ugh. All right, let's give Moralic Boost and give that to Iron Fist so it builds up confidence. Confidence is kind of like a, I'm not sure if it's in the first game, but. Ow. Ooh, wide open, that's not good. Um, Confidence is basically, you get a, you basically get bonus damage. For only for one attack though. So, let's see. Let's hit you. Reference of energy. Nice recovery system. Alright! Let's see how much this is going to do. Alright, let's do it. Chi Blast! Let's go! Boom! Out of there! God, I love using Iron Fist. That is... That's basically a devastating attack right there. Another thing as well, which I've just forgot to bring up. Oh, yeah, She-Hulk, you get stunned. I don't want you having a next turn, so you get stunned. Uh, is that with the ISO crystals that you basically get from the capsules, you can add them to the characters to add more stat bonuses. So, kind of like the... So, like Romwell's basically said in the first game, it, you get bigger numbers, basically. So, boop. Oh, no. And, dude, use your attack, man. Jesus. All right. Okay, I'm just going to hit you with an ascending dragon kick. So, boom, out of there. And you will gain confidence. I hope that stun arrow is still back. Hey, it's still back. I don't want you having a turn, so you get delayed some more. And you gain... You gain more confidence. And... Chit, chit, boom, you're out. Oh, God, I love using Iron Fist. Ugh. Still love using Iron Fist in this game. It's just... I can't believe I actually did over 1,000 damage. That was just nuts. All in one strike. I can't wait to act. I can't wait to see what it's like when it's upgraded. That would be ridiculous. Um, I'll s let's go back for a minute. 
So at so at classic Hawkeye, so at classic Hawkeye, I actually put in a lot of good power powers on him. Oh yeah, with the ISO capsules that you get, you can add more experience to the characters. So you can either just level up and battle, or level up by the ISO, by the by the unstable ISO rates. So yeah, that's that. But it costs you silver to do. Um. With equip, you don't really equip weapons and armor this time around. You equip those ISO crystals. And they give you a variety of stat bonuses. And my, and my classic all guy has 742 attack plus 187 attack. Along with the penetral ISO 8 sets. Take 50% less damage from attacks while above 90% health. And gain a shield at 50% health. And... I believe I also did this to Iron Fist as well. I just need to get to his stats very quick. And I... Let's see. Same attack... Similar attack to... Well... Similar attack to Hawkeye, but a little bit more. 794 attack plus 206. Uh, let's see. And... Jeez, if Chi Blast basically does, like, 125 damage, it can also ra it can also stack up based on the amount of Spirit Stamp, which, is, which explains why I got that much damage to, to I believe, a Wasp. Yeah, I can't wait to reach that level five, level four star upgrade. God, it will be ridiculous. Anywho, anywho, guys, that's basically my quick thought. It is an okay, okay game, but at a bit of a slow process. It would have a lot more improvements. The only improvements would I wish to see with this game is that. I would like to see like command points make a return. That way, recruiting uh, heroes would have a lot more easier than running at random luck based. But a bubble of that, I still think it's a pretty good game, and I highly recommend you well check it out for yourself if you ever get on Google. If you ever, if you're on Google Play, if you want to add me, Poké Dragon is right here. My my com I'm Commander Poké Dragon on. Marvel Avengers Alliance 2. I believe it's connected to my Facebook account or Google account. I'm not sure which one it is. But, yeah, I hope to basically see you on PvP and I hope to, well, get your allied assistance on submissions. Until then, guys, this is Poké Dragon and I'll catch you guys later. Doodles.